Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial based research channel and uh, normally I would show you the um, uh, research in progress um, but I've got a lot to show you on this. Um, if you are interested um, it really does help you understand um, uh, what I'm looking at, what I'm finding um, and like I say it's tutorial based so I would recommend going to have a look at the earlier videos. Um, it helps you understand things a bit better. And um, now we are looking at, uh, oh God, what are we looking at today? This is part two of, um, let's have a look. This is uh, the image rear Saturn. Do excuse me, um, I'm working on so many different places. I get very confused. Um, as you probably noticed. So this was the first one um, that we worked on. Um, that was like the base four image, pretty good image. And this was the um, result. So if you want to have a look at that in more depth, go and have a look at uh, part one. So today um, we're going to be looking at these images. Now because I'm pretty rubbish at finding stuff, but I found this on um, Flickr. A couple of images we'll be looking at. Um, it's, it, I think it says there, live universe images. Da -da 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 -da. It's, it's NASA and Space Science Institute. It's all cool. You can download it. Um, so, first of all, we're going to have a look at this image. Um, Oh yes, and it's Cassini Hudens, my favourite. I like these, that's why I show them. Um, okay, so they're, they're reasonable images, but obviously we have to enlarge them and um, edit them to get any information out of them at all. So if you remember the first one, it was pretty uh, pretty interesting. This This is the main one we're going to be looking at. You can see it's got those familiar sort of stripes in it and stuff, which I'll point out. What I'll try and do as well is um, uh, try and relate some some anomalies to each map. Um, oops. So it gives us a... Um, just to see if we can relate something. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. And this could take a while. So, is that the first one? I'm not sure. Hold on, bear with me. Yes. Okay, this is the first one. They look pretty cool when they're like this. Um, so, let's go and have a look around. I'm not going to flip this one. I'm going to have to flip the other one because certain things uh, are better to view at different um, angles. So I think I'm losing my sight as well. It's very difficult to see this at the moment. Um, right, so let's have a quick look. I think this is, or it was the other, the other end that we were looking at on the other map. Um, so if you're new to all this sort of thing um this these uh photos are semi okay to to recognize um or to notice um the structures and stuff which are present um if you've seen the first one um but the closer you get the the, the harder it is to sort of see I don't know, you do, You just have to experiment with this stuff. So, I started working on this one and then realised I had another map which actually worked a lot better. Um, I could get more information out of it. But we'll, uh, we'll have a closer look at this. And I always say is to pause and uh, just study the image. You know, give yourself time to take the information in and adjust to the way it looks. Because if you notice there's a a general sort of like blur on it and stuff which is uh, quite difficult to take out okay so uh, 
the familiarities, I always say this, um, which we're seeing on all these uh, moons and planets, um, and you just, at this sort of level, um, you can start seeing uh, the infrastructure. There's like a, a, a layout of these uh, things. They're quite they're quite cleverly done. Who is, who's ever, whoever uh, is building this stuff anyway. Um, built in and around the the uh, geography and the typography of of the uh, planet itself so I'm not going to spend too much time on here um, I think I'm going to have to move back a bit but just some immediate things that I see I can draw your attention to. If you can't, if you can't see anything, I can say that this whole, this whole moon is uh, covered in in structures. As crazy as it sounds, um, but we have the familiar sort of like tiering um, platform type construction. Um, we don't know why it's done like that, but it, it, it's apparent pretty much everywhere. So, here's some unusual looking stuff. And you can see how this is raised up. And these are all sort of terrace tiered platform constructions. You can see the depth involved in this and stuff, and how it runs over the surface, into craters, out of craters. And like I say, if you are new, you might be finding this a little bit, you know, oh my good god, what is it? What is he looking at? Um, and like I say, just go and check the other ones, and then just slowly move through it. It's a bit of a learning curve. this large area here it is everywhere and that is like like I say is the confusing thing about it and it's probably a, a sweet percentage of uh, zoom to look at this but it's, it's it's difficult to work out with you know the different devices and things people use. Um, so that's why I'm going to zoom in and out of stuff. start seeing the layout of things here and the varying heights of things it's inside a, a crater a good way to um, sort your perspective out is to look for um, sort of spires or towers of sorts which so we have perspective on the ground here um, that stick out into the air basically so you imagine this is like the base area of this construction here we can see how it is elevated
this is by uh, no means like fully fully enhanced the other one isn't either it's like it's like all these images you can just keep going and going um, I spent a ridiculous amount of hours on this on these two maps as it is um, We just have a look at that. I was talking about things that stick out from the ground. Here are these two. It's one of these enlarged platform areas which we seem to find every now and again. But these two here, to me, looks like that they're sticking up and the light areas are the tops of them. What they are, I do not know. There's another one here. So maybe you've got a little bit of an idea from this. To me on my screen, this is a good level. This gives me a good, I can see loads of things going on. here layout of you can see the perspective works quite well here if you squint maybe you can see some stuff going on okay so like I said this was the the first one I started. So let's go and have a look at this one. Okay, now if you're familiar with the, the work that I've been doing, all these mottled areas uh, are the areas that I've um, enhanced, shall we say. So let's um, start to look at these areas. I'm going to have to flip it. So, that's not the way I want you to flip it, but let's go and have a look. Now I must say, the edges of this picture are, are, are more, uh, well, were harder to get anything out of, and they're distorted, they're more blurred. Um, and they've had more attention or basically there's just less light cast onto it in the original photograph as you can probably see with this especially in that area I don't know which way which one we're on which way round we are so it it is a difficult one, um, um, and I'm saying that from uh, the point of view of a person who has never seen this before. And sorry, guys, for repeating myself constantly, but you know, until we get um, more people watching this, I'm going to have to explain it for the for the the person with. Uh, the untrained eye, for example. But you can see the connections, the infrastructure of sorts uh, coming through here. And a variety of unusual things, which we would call anomalies, you know, not uh, conducive to the descriptions of this planet's surface else they would tell us about them.
Okay, let's have a, have a look at the... Uh, Immediately this area sticks out. There's not a lot of uh, close-up details with these areas or, uh, on this moon. So it's just going to be some zooming in and out. So, it could be anything like you're saying, um, but to me, what what I don't, if you've noticed, I try not to label stuff, because I simply don't know. And it basically uh, just puts information into your head that can be completely wrong. So, uh, I'm not definite. No one's definite. You know, there's a lot of... Uh, um, misinformation shall we say just through people presuming stuff you know everyone's of course you have your point of view and you can say what you want um, but it's like uh, you know the whole this whole thing you know ufology however you want to label it has created completely and utterly created its own misinformation culture it's there's so many different angles there's so so many different theories theories there you go um that uh it just makes a complete mess of everything so it's like i've said before it's um it's a case of uh trying to forget all that stuff which don't I mean, i've been there don't don't get me wrong um years and years of reading books and you know watching documentaries and this that and the other and um, once you start doing something like this especially for yourself which is the aim of the, the channel then uh, you'll find yourself questioning absolutely everything um, and you have to put your your brain to rest and uh, start from basics again basically um, that's just the way it is, because we simply do not know what is going on. Um, and it's very easy to uh, put information or, or ideas into people's heads because, you know, that's uh, they want it. They want to, they want this stuff, you know. I think a good, uh, a fairly good way is um, reading about um, people that have had direct contact with subjects in this uh, genre, <clears throat> shall we say. Um, you know, testimonials of people but then you know then again you, you still you still don't know know for sure was it um is it not it's not it's not roy is it this schneider bloke who got i think he got shot about 11 times before he got knocked off um and he was a, a geologist and an engineer used to work for the government building underground facilities and things um, 
and when you watch his uh, seminars, uh, you can, he's, he's so, you can see the fear. I quite, um, I quite like stuff like that. And book reading as well. Who, who was I reading? I think she had four books before she mysteriously died as well. Um, is it Dr. Carla Turner? And the, the accounts and the stories of um, these abductees and stuff is just beyond belief. It, it's, it's crazy madness. Um, and it's weird as well because, like, it, you know, the accounts of these, these uh, people, and even though they were completely involved and they experienced these things um, they still gave up a theory about it because they didn't know for sure so even the people who were involved in this sort of stuff um, it seems to me that there there is very very few people who are not that I found yet that have the full picture it's interesting stuff so stick to the, you know, the the the, the one-handed, the, the you know, the people who have actually experienced some stuff as well. The Escamilla, Escamilla, whatever his name is, or Ron T's just done a done a tribute to him. He passed away, and he was a guy who was uh, filming through his telescope. Um, well, he's done the moon amazing stuff about the moon and also the interstellar um, phenomenally uh, large spacecraft that he was uh, filming around uh, Orion and stuff it's uh, but it's like, it's like anything you know we, we you have to read everything to sort of whittle stuff down and, and um, develop your own theory so I think that's what I was talking about um, yeah I try not to to leave it up to you to um, to make your um, what do you call it theories, beliefs, or whatever it is, but I find, uh, you know, if you stay open-ended, it's, uh, it's a lot more clarity in, in what you do. So, we're supposed to be having a look at this moon. So, you can slowly see there's more and more things rather constructed, joined together, platformed. Um, if you've seen the first video, there was a, I think it's, I'm sure it is. I don't know, I've just, I've just worked on three different areas and I get so confused. Right, so let's uh, have a look at it this way up. Okay. They do look funky though. Okay. Like I say, Pause and uh, just study the image. makes any sense when I'm saying you can see the design, you can see the purpose, it has direction, it's, it, it's doing something.
this uh, mid area here. Um, I believe because it was so bleached out. Um, I'm just, I, I can get more out of this. But um, I just worked on areas which uh, I thought you guys would be able to decipher easier. More detail. area hasn't had well, it's had some preliminary work done to it but no no detail work these areas also need darkening down again and then reworking let's just have a closer look You can see smaller details. It's very complex. So there are smooth arch type sort of um, lines and then angles, some definite angles and stuff. Here. It's one of these platforms with a something sticking out the top and here. Designed and built. If that's how they're done, I just simply don't know how, how what the uh, construction methods are or, or, or anything. Could be a method we're completely unaware of. dimensional uh, construction if you've ever heard of that before which is a very interesting theory I don't know if it was a, a theory
It's simply everywhere. There's something in the crater, I think. said in the uh, earlier videos <clears throat> it's like filling in the gaps you just follow what the, uh, the image gives you See, like I say, it's not an easy one. To me, this is this is just screaming at me. Um, but it's just practice. When I speak like that, I'm talking to the people who are actually. trying this research for themselves. there when you're darkening down again. So you wouldn't be hitting the same area, say three times with your preliminary work, um, depending on how difficult the details are. To, to pull out, you know, you could be doing anything up to sort of nine, ten times, possibly. 
but like I say, you know, every every image is different, so you sort of play by its rules. Simply not natural stuff. Just saying, how do you know? Well, because um, have a look at the other videos. I mean, it, it's that simple. I mean, there's no there's no argument. Go somewhere else if you wanna you want to argue, not saying that I've got many people arguing and stuff, because uh, I haven't really, a few strange remarks, got a demanding comment one time, <laughs> uh, funny, so I hope you are seeing what is going on here I mean there's so much to see I should have done a, a layer and marked a load of stuff but I didn't um, but I thought it would be nice to have a look at the you know the, the, the sheer coverage of this stuff um, and we said we were going to go we're going to try and relate something to the other image. So we have to find something sort of mid-range. And we've got that big crater there. Which is... That big crater there. that So if there are any other research channels out there, checking it out, getting some up from this, then um, just give me a shout. As I've said before, we're on the same page, aren't we? Which I have my doubts about. Um, and I think I will be being a lot more direct um, and as you as you know there's a lot of focus on Mars and I've actually got more Mars than anywhere else and I do look at what other people are doing and uh, I do find it frustrating because they're they're missing they're missing stuff and it's like I was saying earlier um, It's just confusing the issue, misinformation. Um, so I'm going to be, um, I don't, I'm not going to undermine anyone. I mean, it's research, yeah, and research always moves forward. And uh, if people aren't liking it, then you're in the wrong game.
So, sorry, I'm right old Chandra today. So I hope I'm right in what I'm saying, you know, the more you look at this, the more you're going to notice um, how complex it is and stuff. Right, so let's go here, and then there's something that's, it's a bit more of a odd angle, but it's something over here. Probably not in the work, it's an experiment. It can be really difficult to match places up. So we got that there, we got that under there. So I'm thinking. Here somewhere. Could be this area here. Doesn't matter, but it's interesting to do when you're doing doing the research. Um, I started doing that because I thought I was going mental. Um, so the more correlation you can get with various images, sort of uh, calms the nerves, shall we say. If we just look at this area here, you see these squares, tubes, it's difficult, it's so complex, there's so much going on. This area hasn't been done, so uh, we could just completely carry on. I can clearly see the design here. The quality is brilliant, I know. Simply everywhere. Well, I hope I've shown you enough. And not everything that I've said or mumbled on about um, is uh, in regards to this this image as well um, you can look at it you can listen to me but 
until you do it yourself, you're never going to know for sure. And it's just the way your brain works. It's crazy. See where the pipes go over and under each other. So, like I say, if you're a bit boggled, um, like this bit I've just pointed out. Watch the video again, pause it, and just get used to it. Every time you look at these images, you'll, you'll have to readjust, your sight will have to readjust to it, because it's so unfamiliar, it's very poor quality. Look at this stuff. Just everywhere. So can you see that there? done anything to this let's just have a quick look and then I'll knock it on the head or should we look at that let's look at that might have some decent bit of perspective on it go and check out um, anomaly chasing uh, the guy guy who's doing that channel um, started from watching this channel I think he's restarted again um, he's got a couple of bids up why am I saying that um, yeah just go and check it out more the merrier the way forward we're gonna stagnate we're gonna we're gonna move forward with this uh, research showing more that's than ever been shown before so that was like a first stage but you can see the perspective you can see the joining structures Oh yeah, that's the reason why. Um, in uh, his first series of videos he put out, um, there was a quote saying, it's just like scribbling. Here you go, look. It's just like scribbling. And initially it is like scribbling. It's that simple. Don't let anyone tell you this, this, this sort of thing is uh, difficult. Or they're special because they can use software programs and stuff. It's just simply not the case. Anyone can do this. Um, and then it becomes less and less like scribbling. And you get to get more precise and more specific to, to bring out minute details. Not so much in this image because it's pretty poor. And that's the way it works. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. 
if you want to see more of this, there's so much to look at. Um, I'll try and do some more work on it, but um, I've got some different moons coming up, and I've got Mars coming up. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. But um, as always, thanks a lot, guys, and um, I will see you soon. Cheers.